Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, it's Nina. If you're new here, welcome, I'm so happy that you're here, and if you're not new, thanks for coming back. Today, we are learning the title track of Red, of course, because Red Taylor's version is upon us. We have three months to go, which is actually a long time, but I have a feeling she might release some songs early, so that's what I'm hoping for. It's actually a super cloudy day today, which gives me all of the red vibes in the autumn season, even though it's August. <laughs> If you guys want to see the tab that I wrote for this song with all the chords, lyrics, and all the things that you need, the link's in the description box down below. It's on my website. You can download it. And after this video, if you want to practice this video and play along with me, I post a full demo on my other channel with all the chords on the screen for you so that we could jam together. So let's get into it. Okay, so you're going to need your cable on the fourth fret, and this is how Taylor plays it, and this is kind of like how the studio version is. Also, side note, this is a shirt from the Red Tour. I don't think I will ever run out of Taylor Swift merch to wear in my videos. Comment down below if you want a merch tour. Um, anyways, the chords you're gonna need for this song are F. Side note, for the intro, we are gonna be using normal F, but for the rest of the song, I like to use F sus2, but you can use regular F if you like that better. And then we have A minor, G sus4, you can play normal G if you want to, but this fits better with the chord progression. And then we just have C. And that's all you're gonna need. Now, when Taylor Swift performs this like on the Red Tour live with her electric guitar, she's doing down strumming. But if you want a more acoustic vibe, there's also a slower strumming pattern that's easier for beginners than the down strumming. Also, I'm gonna be teaching a very basic version of this intro, this part. And it's actually super easy and it sounds just like the song so it's wonderful so for this intro if you guys want to do this little part it's going to be F and just play normal F and you're going to pick four three two and you're just gonna keep picking those three strings for all of these chords so we've got F four three two and then we're gonna switch to a minor four three two so and then for this part, you're just gonna do it open. So you're not going to press on any strings for this. You were just gonna do four, three, two. So all together slowly, it's going to be F. And that's all you're gonna need for this little intro part. So for the intro, you are going to repeat that twice. So try to play along with me. I'm gonna play it full speed. We got F. And then you go into the verse. In the studio version and even the live version, it's a banjo that's playing this little like picking part. It continues with a picking pattern, but we're just gonna teach the strumming for beginners. But if you don't wanna do the picking, you can just single strum and you're just gonna do F, A minor, G. And that's gonna be your intro single strum twice. So F, A minor, G, and then you just repeat that for an intro. Okay, so moving on to the verse, it's going to be very similar. The chord progression is going to be F, A minor, G, just like the intro. And you're going to repeat that four times for the first verse. And there's two ways you can do the strumming. Like I said, you can do the down strumming or you can do this strumming pattern I'm gonna show you. So first I'm gonna go over the down strumming. When I'm doing down strumming, I like to think of it as a series of long and short strums. Long meaning you strum all the strings and short meaning you just kind of strum the bass strings. Just the top few strings. So a pattern I like to do when I'm down strumming is long, short, short, long, short, short, long, short, and you switch. Long, short, short, long, short, short, long, short. Long, short. 
So for this chord progression, the F and the A minor are gonna get a measure and then you're gonna stay on G for two measures. So it's gonna sound like this. We got F, long, short, short, long, short, short, long, short, A minor, long. And then to G. And again. And you're just gonna repeat that four times for the verse. Okay, so I'm gonna go through at full speed and sing the first part of this verse. Loving him was like driving a new Maserati down a dead end street. Faster than the wind, fashion kind of sin, and it's so astoundingly. Okay, and now I'm quickly just gonna show you guys a basic strumming pattern if you can't do down strumming or you're a little bit more of a beginner um, and you wanna go slower. So we got F and you're gonna do down, down, up, up, down, up, and then switch to A minor. Down, down, up, up, down, up, and then to G. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So this slows it down a little bit. So if you're a beginner and you need more time to switch chords, this drumming pattern might be better for you. Okay, so I'm gonna go a little bit faster. And now we sing. Loving him was like trying to change your mind once you're already flying through the free fall. Like the colors in So on that last um, G in the verse, you can single strum it, and then it goes into the chorus. Now the chorus is only gonna change slightly. For the first line, it's going to be F, C, G, instead of F, A minor, G, but that's the only time you're gonna be playing C. So first you're gonna do F, C, G, and then you're gonna repeat F, A minor, G three times for this chorus. And the strumming is going to be the same, so you can either choose to do the down strumming or the other basic strumming pattern that I told you guys. So I'm just gonna go through and sing it because it's gonna be the same thing. First I'll do the down strumming and then I will show you the strumming pattern. Losing it was blue like I never know. Missing it was dark gray all alone. Forgetting it was like trying to know somebody never met. And then we've got our strumming pattern. But loving it was red. And then it goes into verse two. Verse two is gonna be the same thing as verse one. And at the end of the second chorus, it just changes the words a little bit and then it goes into the bridge. And so I'll show you guys that kind of um, transition. So it goes, Loving him was red, 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 oh, red, burning red. And then it goes into to the bridge, which is literally one of my favorite things. It's so good. So this is where it's gonna get changed up a little bit in this chord progression. We're gonna do F, G, A minor, G, and then we've got C, F, C, G. And then the last two lines are just gonna be F, A minor, G, like normal. So again, you're gonna have two choices for this bridge. You can do the down strumming or you can do the basic strumming. The only difference is the chords changing and you're just gonna do all of these chords for one measure. I'll just do the down strumming first. Okay, now I'm just gonna show you the basic strumming pattern and I will sing for you. Remembering him comes in flashbacks and echoes tell myself it's time now. Gotta let go of moving on from him as impossible and I still see it all in my head. Burning in red. So on this last G of that line, you stay on it for two measures and you can, you know, feel free to just strum however you want. You can do down strumming to finish that out. That's usually what I do when you're like building something up. So it's like, but I still sing it all in my For 
that second part where it goes back to burning red. It's just going to be F, A minor, G twice, and then it goes into our final chorus. The final chorus is going to be the same as the other choruses, just the words are kind of different and she's just kind of freestyling here, but the chords and the strumming are all going to be the same. And then it goes into an outro, and so you have these two lines that are going to be F, A minor, G, and it, that's the part where it goes. And that's why he's spinning round. And then you've got the first line of the verse over again, and you're just gonna single strum this part. So it's gonna go. This love is like driving a new Maserati down a dead end street. You can do single strumming, or you could even go back to the picking. This love is like driving a new Maserati down a dead end street. Yeah. But yeah, that's the whole song. This song is super fun to play. Pretty simple, it's got some good chords. Comment down below what song you're most excited for for Red Taylor's version. Give this video a like if it helped you out learning this song. And also don't forget to subscribe because I post new videos every Tuesday and Friday and I will for sure be learning all of the new Vault songs and trying to make my way through Red. Hop over to the Play Along channel if you want to jam with me and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Love it, it was red. I still see it all in my head. No. <laughs> no. Passionate as sin. Passionate as sin. I'm not gonna lie, I did not know that was the lyrics. <laughs> okay, you learn something new every day.